Cat TV is celebrating 30 years of community media. Help support Cat TV's next 30 years by becoming a member today. Your membership will help us continue covering meaningful, local content. Thank you for supporting your local community media station. Southwest Regional Tech Center Board for April to order. Uh, first item on the agenda, public comments. If anybody, is anybody online on Zoom at all? Uh, just our board members, Jackie and Leon. Okay. Do you have a public comment from Lee? Okay, Leon. go ahead, Leon. Uh, I want to personally thank the graphic art teacher. Elizabeth Day for her excellent work that she did with the students in preparing on March 19th, which was uh, Martin Luther King celebration, and they prepared uh, artwork and presented it to the group at that meeting and uh, won prizes, cash prizes were awarded to them. From the Career Development Center, I mean, from the organization. And that's all. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, now, we're, now we'll have a presentation uh, from the Culinary Arts Department. And <clears throat> this is something that the board members had asked is that when we meet, if we could, during the time, meet with various, like, uh, forestry program, auto mechanic, cosmetology, so we'll know what goes on in those various departments. They don't have to be long, but just to get face-to-face uh, -face with the uh, teacher and uh, hear a little bit about the program. So that's what we're waiting for today. <clears throat> and don't forget, you can enjoy these beautiful uh, meal, uh, pastry that the department has made. Anywhere? Yeah. Here. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, first, I want to say thank you all for coming because this gives us, our students, a very real world um, experience. Setting up for business style meetings is something in the industry that is key and vital. You know, like, don't go in the dining room while they're meeting. You know, that's, that's a, a real thing. So, uh, thank you all for coming and allowing us to do it here because it really helps. Um, so, as a way of introduction, my name is Nick Zalori. Um I'm the new culinary arts instructor here at Southwest Tech. Um, I come from Vermont, I was born and raised in Rutland. Um, I was a tech student at one time myself, uh, then went to CIA, um, Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. Um, I spent a few years on Nantucket, uh, working on Nantucket, came back, uh, was the executive chef at the Rockton Panther in Manchester, and then um, I have been one of the co-owners of the Vermont Butcher Shop for the last seven years, um, and now I'm here. So, great. Short and sweet about myself, but that's, that's the gist. Um, things we've done this year is, um, the biggest one is we kind of upgraded our ServeSafe um, IRC. So we used to do Food Saver, uh, Food Service Handler in the past. This year we, moved, we upgraded to the first Food Service Manager which is a level two IRC instead of a level one. Uh, and we're happy to report that all students passed that test and are now Serve Safe certified. It's good for five years and um, it's recognized nationwide as a, as a credential for managers within the industry. Um, so it really helps to open some doors uh, for them. Uh, next one is Bistro. Because of um, COVID, Bistro was a little limited, obviously. We weren't able to open to the public for understandable reasons. But we, um, we opened a variation. We started doing soups, sandwiches, sauces, um, pizza, desserts, cookies, all sorts of things um, right here out of the Bistro, right off the bar here, um, doing to faculty and staff which I think has been pretty positive, and the kids have really enjoyed it, but also allows us to bring a real-world aspect to deadlines and all the things we're learning. All of those items are within the ProStar curriculum that we follow as essential skills. So all of those things are now being produced by the children as, um, 
as essential skills for the pro start. Okay. So uh, we also did pie sale, uh, holiday pie sales. Uh, we did what did we do? Pumpkin, apple. We did a mixed berry. We did walnut. And I'm forgetting one, but we did pie sales, um, and that went very well, I thought. Um, so again, another another uh, essential skill for them to work pie dough, lattice work, fillings, all that kind of stuff. So we also did holiday cookies around Christmas time. Um, so the creaming method is a, is a baking essential, and anytime you make a cookie, you're doing the creaming method. So we did a, a wide variety of cookies, and I think those went well as, those sold well as well. Um, right now, we're working, uh, Culinary One is currently working on uh, food insecure instructional videos through a partnership with uh, the video production program. Um, so we're learning all about um, the presence of video making within the culinary world. Um, things within social media in today's age, video production, photography, all, all that is very important in our industry. So it's a great opportunity to get some community outreach, but also to um, give them some experience with, you know, one of our build ups to it was making short videos about making a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Um, which some kids use social media and stuff like that to, to, to do an instructional video on how to make it. So um, it's really helping, I think, them get out of their comfort zone a little bit because, you know, they're, they're the ones making the recipes and all that. Um, but again, a good community outreach option. Um, as far as curriculum goes, we are doing ProStart um, as we have done in the, in the past. Culinary One is focusing on basics. Um, I've incorporated some of the CIA trainings that I have that, that ProStart doesn't really um, cover. Um, things like restaurant history is in there. Um, so we learn about the foundations of cooking and the people that made it what it is today. Um, as we said before, we do serve safe, we do product ID and flavor profiles, stock soup sauces, basic culinary math, bread making, kitchen basics, and cooking methods salad dressings and sandwiches, starch cookery, and then the last one we'll do um, starting next month is kind of like industry professional development. We'll make resumes for all the kids, um, and we'll talk about interview tactics and things like that. In future years, I hope to bring in our advisory committee to do mock interviews with the kids, which will allow them to get kind of the butterflies out. Right? So culinary two, um, it's focusing on kind of what I call the, the beans of a chef, right? So you do food cost and menu development, uh, recipe cost, uh, breakfast cookery, baking and pastry, meat and seafood ID, garbage, cuisines of the world, front of the house service, um, and then finally intro to management and purchasing options and things like that. So we focus on more of the nitty gritty, a little bit more class work, classroom work there, um, but they're really focusing on also the bistro aspect as well, kind of taking their, their teachings from culinary one, moving those into culinary two and, and putting them to real world applications. Um, culinary three um, will be a new, I guess, a new program for next year. Um, and we're gonna try to focus very much on the individual. You know, there's only one or two of them. Um, so I wanna focus on the individual rather than a curriculum. You know, if, that, if this student is interested in baking, we're gonna, we're gonna push baking, right? If they're interested in culinary arts, we'll push culinary arts in, in one way or another. But I think, we, I think it's safe in a good way to build it around their interest. Um, and to really expand on what they what they want to do with their within their profession. So uh, we have two right now signed up for next year. Um, one is very interested in baking, so we'll be going um, deep into that. And then the other one's kind of still playing the, the middle game. So we'll we'll try to focus in on what she wants to focus on and kind of take the beginning of the year to kind of narrow that down, and then move into the second half of the year. We'll really focus on. It. Um, what else do I get? So through our ProStart um, affiliation, we are um, accredited, 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 accredited um, with uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven schools in the New York, New England area. Um, just recently, one of my students signed up for um, SUNY's Connectedy, received eight college credits, um, and was able to skip the Serve Safe. Um, Safe food safety and sanitation class, all in general, because of his certification. Um, he's now super excited because he only has to go to class two times a week for his entire first year. Um, so he's very excited about that. So it's good to know. But the other schools involved are SUNY Cobalt Skill, uh, 
Niagara Falls Culinary Institute, Morrisville State College, uh, Culinary Institute of America, Culinary Institute of New York Monroe, and Tom Tompkins Cortland College. So all of those colleges recognize our pro-state curriculum and offer some sort of uh, college credit or in, through the serve safe, they will just waive that class in general as long as they're uh, certified. So um, next year, it's kind of where I'll wrap it up next year, we want to expand on our B show. We definitely want to open up to the public, get the people back in here, um, get to the line experience, you know, fulfilling orders, things like that, but also having kids out here, you know, servicing the tables, etc., so that we can um, get that aspect into integrated into the program. Um, uh, this year, uh, we did Skills USA as our CTSO. Every report, we got three medals for the program. We got silver in, uh, in culinary arts, bronze in baking, and silver in job demonstration. So, so one of my students went and taught how to make mayonnaise to a panel of judges. So uh, it's good. Next year, we're going to continue to do Serve Safe. Um, but I really want to start see if we can get into, back into the Pro Start as well. I decided not to do it this year just because it was kind of a lot to juggle. Um, but uh, there's a few more ideas that I'm working on with, with Lisa about you know, credits and things like that for the students, but they're kind of very early days. So. Thank you, Nick. No problem. Any questions? Any questions for Nick? All very cool. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I have a question. Oh, oh. 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 From, from the owl, it's, it's Leon. Oh. Yeah. I have to say that I got to come over. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll get some stuff for you, Lee, and I'll drop it off. Get some pastries. <laughs> All right, you heard it here. Record it on camera. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Next item on the uh, agenda is executive session for labor relations with employees contract in 10 minutes. So we're going to have to ask anybody that's not a member of the board to reuse themselves. They could just go out the door there. We shouldn't be more than, what, 10 minutes at the most time. I wouldn't think that long, yeah. Okay. March 14th. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. 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 Okay. Any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Next, <coughs> payroll awards, uh, 1014, 1035, 1037. I'll move them. Okay, second. Okay, Leon second. Any discussion on the payroll awards? <coughs> Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Vendor awards, uh, 1034 and 1036. Motion to Excuse me, Fran. Second. 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 Okay. Second. <clears throat> Any questions on these? Anybody have any questions from the vendors? Okay. Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> okay. Committee reports. None. No committees have met. Action items. Uh, we had a discussion on the contract in executive session. Do we have a motion to accept that contract? So moved. Second. 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 Yeah, I think you should, yes. Okay, this contract is for our business manager, Mickey Tattersall. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. 
superintendent's report. Chief, jump right to me. Take my mask off so make sure everyone can hear me okay. Um, first off, good to see everyone in person again. It's nice to be here. Um, masks are optional for students and guests here at school. That's why you'll see some people wearing them and some not, uh, but it is totally optional at this point. Um, the first thing, I hope you will look at the link of the course catalog and program of studies that was sent along. Um, if not, there are copies online and at least some printed ones in the office. Um, it's been a long time since we've talked about redoing our program of studies, actual complete rewrite from beginning to end. Um, and we did that this year with the great help from Betsy Kane's graphic arts class and Anna Hogan, um, who worked closely with Nicole Sauer, who was our outreach coordinator, to develop a brand new program of studies um, that is include, which has beautiful photos in it, linked to all the educational standards, work-based learning opportunities. I hope, I hope you've seen it. Um, if not, you can pick up a copy in the office or go online and look at it. I can't show it to you here today because we don't have all the equipment we're used to in the assembly room. Um, otherwise, I would show it to you. Um, it's a beautiful document. We're really proud of it. Uh, and a lot of hard work went into it. So it's, um, that's online for you um, to look at. Um, the next piece, um, I'm going to turn it over to Becky in a minute regarding the financial management letter. Um, but a couple of things that I wanted to talk about first. Um, you heard Nick talk about our Skills USA, uh, which just occurred last week. Um, this was the first year that Skills has been in person in two years. It wasn't the traditional in person that we're used to. Um, we're used to putting everyone on a big bus and sending them all to one location. Um, this time it was a class here, a class there, a class here, a program there, a program here overnight, a program there overnight. So it's quite a challenge to get everyone to their right places and back in time. But we managed it, um, and you heard from Nick uh, and other programs as well that we did receive numerous medals, both gold, silver, uh, and bronze in many categories. And I don't have a list right in front of me. And I will, it will be published in the banner as well as online and in the news guide. We're even seeing those student profiles. You'll see those in the news guide as well. Um, also, our student awards banquet. Believe it or not, we're coming up on that in June. Uh, we are still working on a date. Um, we have picked a venue, I think, but it's under cloak and dagger for right now. So um, it, it will be the first week in June is when the event will be late on Tuesday or Thursday. So that should give you a good idea of the two dates that are available. Um, let you know more about that. We're excited to have it in person this year. Um, for folks, the remote version has been great, and everyone got to, saw, to see it. And we're still going to record it and rebroadcast it on Facebook later on. Uh, but it will be live this year in person. Um, we're, we're really looking forward to that and hoping, that, hoping we can stay um, in person for as long as possible would be our goal. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. And just um, if you take a look, um, like today, Ken mentioned, we're going to start having programs present <coughs> to the board. We started this before COVID hit. I think it was Mr. Haskins. Tom was here. Um, now Nick. Next month, uh, I forget what we have scheduled for you, and in June, um, we're going to see graphic arts. So uh, I forget who I asked next month, but I will find out. And uh, they enjoy, I, I hope you enjoy it, and some of them will we'll go to them instead of them coming to us because they are better things to see, but we're right in the middle of culinary here, so we thought no, no time to move today. Um, Sign-ups for next year are happening. Uh, this is our big recruitment season, and sign-ups are starting to begin. We have a lot of sign-ups for 10th graders this year. Um, for some reason, ebbs and flows, I don't know why. Uh, but most programs are doing very well as far as enrollment goes. Um, we are seeking, uh, through our Perkins grant, um, potentially a secondary uh, medical professions instructor based on the amount of waiting enrollment from last year. And that's sort of be right in front with you, it ebbs and flows. We may have a huge number right before school starts and it could wane again. So it is going to be grant money um, that we're looking at. Um, we are also looking at hiring, uh, this is old news, but just a reminder, a math interventionist um, that is being paid for by the state of Vermont um, through our Perkins money based on the scores in which our students have tested in, in math and English, for example, are very low. Um, so we are required to have a math interventionist on staff. Um, we're starting interviews for that the week after April break. Uh, there are two candidates who applied. Um, as you know, we do have a new forestry instructor um, who started last month. Uh, Eric Bishop is his name. Uh, so far, so good. It's nice to have an instructor in there. I want to say thank you to Linda Davitsky and Brian Foster, who were our paraprofessionals who spent a lot of time in there making sure the program continued on um, with guest instructors and until we brought an instructor on board. Um, our manufacturing program, we're still looking for an instructor. Uh, Tim Mullen, who has been in there this year, was granted a provisional license basically to teach for the year. Um, we're still advertising. It's been very difficult to fill. Uh, just, we've had a couple interviews and things just have not panned out. So we're going to continue to try 
uh, our darndest to get that filled to the fall. Keep trying and trying and trying um, because it, it really has become troublesome. So kids want to be in the program. Students are starting to enjoy what's happening, the welding, the machining. We've got to find somebody for it. Um, so we're going to keep doing that. I think that's it for me for now. Um, the financial management letter. Included, included in the packet in the Dropbox was a letter from our auditors. Uh, yep. Every year, our financial statements are audited, payroll, vendor, vendor warrant, everything we do financially for the previous year. So this letter represents our FY21 school year last year. And every year we are audited and then they produce a big report and then this letter. And basically I included it to show you, again, they didn't have any findings where there was anything wrong, anything we've done wrong, that we are adhering to all regulations financially. Um, we are making sure that there are checks and balances, that you know, no one person has overseen and controlled all finances, that there are, are things in place so that uh, other signatures or approvals are required. So I included this just so you can see the letter from our auditor. So basically, it says things like all significant transactions have been recognized in financial statements in the proper period, uh, that we were cooperative and provided all information to them, that they haven't found any, uh, any errors or any discrepancies in anything related to any of the financial uh, documents or procedures that we've done for the FY21 school year. And every year this document is provided and there's a big, a larger report. It's 56 pages long. If you want to take a look at it, I do have a hard copy here. It's available to you. It's available to anybody that wants to request it. But rather than making multiple copies of this 56 page report. I have one here for you if you want to take a look at it. But it goes into more depth about the financial standings of the school. Are there any questions? Thank you. I just want to say nice job, Becky. I know that the audit is something that's stressful each year and it requires a lot of work on the business office part to get done. A lot of documents have to be submitted um, to the board, so thank you. The okay, now, under mine, uh, we had something in the uh, packet about the uh, rental of the daycare center. No. But we want to run that through the finance committee first before we put up an official recommendation. So I think it would be convenient if we set up a meeting of the finance committee. Yes, if you'd like, you do that right before the next board meeting, do a finance committee meeting. Oh, that's good idea. 9.30? Maybe at 9.30 or something? Yeah. That would work for folks. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's okay. do it that way. That's good. Right in here then. 9:30. Okay. okay. <clears throat> That's all I have. Does anybody have anything that they'd like to bring up now? Uh, I have a Friend. question, uh, Ken. Uh, it's for uh, Mike. Where are we advertising f for the manufacturing position? Oh boy, Sandy. I'm sure it's, it's a lot. Everywhere. Just, everywhere. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right. Uh, that goes out quite a bit. Right. That's a very good uh, reach, outreach to our uh, huh. communities. Uh, we try various publications at different times, and we just are getting out oh, schools for it. Right. Right. So right. We're not seeing any response. If anyone has any other suggestions, we would love. I just didn't know if we were getting anybody. I mean, it, yeah, a couple, but not okay, not much. All right, I got you. A lot of the schools bring with kids. The website is for mostly teachers as far as opening. We are also advertising on what's called OLAS, which is the New York version. And we were hoping because New York has a lot of uh, what are the career and tech ed centers or schools over in New York. We were hoping maybe we might find a teacher or someone who might be looking to kind of pick back up again, maybe they retire, even if they come back yep. to yep. Okay. on their website as well. 
and we, we even post it in, in the local colleges, like in, in Hudson Valley. If you can think of it, we've put it out there. And it, oh, it, God, it sounds like you got everything covered. I don't know. We don't have to look. I mean, we've really tried right. everything. Right. And it's, you know, a lot of it comes down to either lack of experience or what salary or the going back to school for four years. I mean, there's, there's multiple factors. You know, some people we've interviewed just like, the four years of schooling is too much, and some folks it's not enough money, and you know it's just, okay. just the way it is. Right. I mean, but but the better answer question, friend, we don't have like 30 applicants. No, there might be right. two. Not, you know, right. right. From all those places. So. How about Indeed.com? Might get a bigger pool. Maybe that's bigger pool. Right? Yep. So um, so the papers that we do advertise through feed to Indeed. Because um, that's when, when we ask them when we interview, well, where to see the job? You know, where where to come across? Right. And we want to know where right. they found it. So our advertising dollars are making sense. Um, and this last time, they said, oh, I found it on Indeed. And we're like, okay, but we didn't advertise on Indeed, so we looked at the paper fed it. So it is, it's out there everywhere. <laughs> so it's tough. Okay. It's just tough. Yeah. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> I also think that a big problem is places like Mac Molding, they're offering $3,000 sign-on bonuses. Bonuses, yeah. And if you had mentioned that around 40000 would be the starting uh, salary. High, high 40 is probably, that's, yeah. That's uh, tough with rental of apartments and automobile and I mean, it's, it's tough for somebody yeah, yeah. It's to get that job. But. Well, we still have, you know, we still have a few months, and we'll keep trying. You know, it's not for lack of trying. We'll just keep going at right, it. Right, right. You know, we yeah. have five or six more months before we need somebody, so hopefully we can. Maybe Adam could steer somebody. Maybe. I'll, I'll <laughs> talk with him. <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, I'd like to know where uh, we're going to meet uh, the policy. Today. Policy is Leon's bailiwick there. Well, I'm, I wasn't clear. That was one of the things that I was going to ask uh, in terms of the members. I, I saw the sheet that was attached. You had Chuck B and, and Dane uh, Charles on it, rather, and Dwayne. Dane, does that, under that, does that mean that they are, you put them on the committee as well with uh, with, with what? I just couldn't understand what you were trying to say here for that. And and the other part of that was to make the meeting times were to be based on the availability of Mr. Lamson because we have outstanding work already that need to be brought and submitted to the uh, board for approval. These are the committees that folks either ask for or that will put on, right? So, did you want to try and set up a meeting date, Julian, for this? Uh, well, you, well, yes. If we're going to meet doing in person, are uh, we going to? I'll, I'll I, I think Sandy told me something about the time. Um, we talked about uh, last semester, last quarter, for, for our advisor to be available for us. And so that's that's the time that we'll want to set a meeting up and be in person. So was that going to be immediately following this meeting that we would have, when we have the in-person meeting, that we have an in-person <coughs> policy meeting? Yeah, and I can talk with uh, John after the, after the meeting. I think that... That's when his availability is. It's about now. That's after our board meeting. So I will talk with him and uh, come up with what time works best for John, and then let you know. Okay. And then we can we can schedule that meeting, and then and, it, and it's sure. let everybody know if we're going to try to do that in person. Yep. I have to apologize. I sure didn't realize we were going really in person here, uh, and I looked at everything. I would like to point out that I do take time off of my day job where I work at a different school. So, um, so these policy committee meetings, they can happen like yeah, right after these meetings, full meeting. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yep. Try to everyone's time as best as possible. Any other topics to be brought up? Seeing none, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 CAT TV is celebrating 30 years of community media. Help support CAT TV's next 30 years by becoming a member today. 
Your membership will help us continue covering meaningful, local content. Thank you for supporting your local community media station.